name is Richie Nix. I am a singer, songwriter, producer, and I also manage a recording studio in Windsor, Ontario called Polaris Recording Studio and Production. I describe my music. Um, my music is very uh, versatile. It's a hybrid of either rock, rap, electronic, metal, and hip hop. And I'm also moving towards producing a lot of pop and EDM. So I've always been a fusion of my multiple influences of music. I, I like listening to a wide variety of music and I take bits and pieces of it and it becomes my sound, which is, you know, like a hybrid. Fearless was my favorite album that I've produced so far, mainly because it was a passion project. I knew I would lose radio play by doing this record because it was way too heavy for the radio stations I was getting played on at the time. But I just, it was inside me. I needed to do it just to do it. Well, bef when, when I was an unsigned artist, I, uh, I did a lot of shows for the same friends and family locally, you know? And it becomes frustrating putting all your efforts into something and sometimes nobody would show up in your hometown. And that kept you, it, it didn't discourage me to the point where I didn't want to continue. It, I took that anger and frustration and channeled it into energy to do more music and make it better. Why aren't they coming? What am I doing wrong? What can I do better? So I pushed myself to the point where a label noticed me. So those empty venues and those empty shows actually motivated me to get the attention of a label. And once the label signed me, then you have the funding and you, they have the machine to get you a wider audience. You know, they, they're, they're capable of putting your music out there so that I have fans now in Poughkeepsie, New York and go there and play a show. I could tour in Florida for a week, just in Florida. I wouldn't have been able to do that on my own per se at the time that I was doing it. But nowadays with the internet, there are benefits to staying in indie as an indie artist. Moving forward, I am working on a new project called NTA and it stands for Notice the Armor. The meaning behind that is notice the armor that I'm wearing. It's got dents in it. I've been through war and it's still on me, which means I'm ready for more. And this project is very random. Like I just made beats. I produced hip hop trap type beats with like a lot of sign basses and, and uh, synth and stuff. And I would take the beat, throw it into Pro Tools and get behind the mic and freestyle the entire song and I would chop up my freestyle, I'd maybe freestyle for like an hour and then chop up the parts so that this would be verse one, verse two, chorus, and I ended up making a whole album and I'm going to be releasing that in the coming